Hi, welcome to my system here. We are talking about uh, Arch Linux and we are going to show you how to install Compass and how to use it. So Arch Linux, screen fetch to show you what we have. We have uh, finished writing lots of articles on erodubois.pe about Arch and this is what you're looking at, it's made. There are other articles about Cinnamon, i3 and so on. But this is Mate, and in Mate we have the possibility to install uh, three things actually. You really need to install, look and feel the Mate tweak. So let's show you what I did. You go to Ctrl Alt T or Terminal, depending what shortcut you use. Not that one, but this one. And first I started off and experimented a lot with uh, all these 38. Uh, extra packages so I'm telling you what does work I'm just skipping everything that didn't work you install this one CCSM which is C Compis C Config S Settings and M Manager so the Compis Config Settings Manager is this one we're gonna need it and the May tweak we're gonna need it as well and last but not least, Compass itself, and I believe you're better off using this one, number 11, Compass Manjaro, because this one worked for me, just out of the box, without any issues. That's what we want, we would just want to run the thing, tweak a little bit, and get on with our life, with, rather than looking into files, and why this, and why that, and why isn't working, and forums, and that, all that. So Compis Manjaro, CSM, Mate Week, and let's go ahead and show you what we can do. So you just install it. By the way, uh, installing uh, Compis Manjaro takes time. Do take a coffee in the meantime. Systems, preferences, internet, network, no. Here we should be at Compis Config Settings Manager, but first we're gonna go to Mate Week. It might be that it's different for your system, like I told you, I've installed uh, lots of things, Cinnamon, i3, Gnome, lots of even open box and all that. So it might be that your pop-up here is a bit less than mine. Anyway, when the Manjaro Compis is installed, you get this line. So you activate it and it might look ugly. So the first time when you switch between compositor, then it might scare you away. Just say, okay, I want to have this and try it. If something goes wrong, remember we have here the reset compass, which is whew, luckily it's there because we can really screw up our system with compass. So be aware that that's dangerous. But we want our wobbly windows, which we do not have yet. So I have uh, did the reset. I changed already some of the items and uh, let's take a look. So if Compass is working, you did a login, log off, login maybe as well, depending on hardware. Okay, I would do the login and the log off and the login. And then you go to the Compass Config Settings Manager. Again, it's an advanced tool. Use it with caution. Deeply configure Compass settings, incompatible with each other. You end up with an unusable desktop. I must be honest, I think I have now 10 times an unusable desktop. So be aware that you might end up in a black screen and that's that. Hard reboot and hope for the best. This is Compass, folks. Right. What did I do? I changed general options, desktop settings, 4 and 1. So horizontal virtual size, 4, vertical virtual size, 1. The rest is the same. Then we are actually mates, but I wouldn't care. I don't care for it. Just check, take a look. It's just a shortcut here and no shortcut there. So these shortcuts for screenshots and so on. Whatever. What else? The show mouse works. If you activate it with super K, and then we can show you how that looks. So this is my mouse now. I don't think I will lose it, I will know where it is now, but what's the use? So, okay, nice, fun, that's what it is, fun. Desktop, 
desktop cube. I activated this one and I asked for one big cube. There's a reason for that. I have a dual monitor, you should be aware. I'm only uh, filming one screen. And um, with Control Alt down, it's going to unfold the cube. So Control Alt down, this is unfolding. And I've put a uh, wallpaper behind it. It's another name they give it, so we'll see it in a bit. So you see already the wallpaper I've chosen. So that's unfolding the cube. Didn't change anything here. This is called the sky dome. So the thing that you saw, the background, they call it sky dome. Okay, fine. So I activate the sky dome. Without this, it would look like that. And with this, this one, it's going to look like that. Okay, nicer. I've changed the color as well. When do you see the colors? Ah, when you do a rotate, which is done with Control, Alt, mouse click, right, uh, no, left mouse click, and then you get something like this. You see already that it's a cube. Remember, I see the complete cube on my two monitors, but it's just one big cube. Okay, so you see the 3D effect of the windows floating above the desktop, and this is the cube. It works if you desk enable this one, desktop cube, if you enable rotate cube, and 3D windows. Those are the ones that make it possible. There are some animations you can try out. So if you have a home folder and you close it and you open it again, then you, have, you, you get this strange way of opening it. You go again, like so. So these things are in animations, didn't change a thing, this is the normal animation. What else? Fire paint can be fun. Shift Super button 1, Shift Windows button 1. Now my computer is on fire and we stop the paint. Back. There's something similar with water, so water effects. Control Super is Initiate, Control Super, done. Shift F9, Shift F9. There we have the drops. Useful, I don't know. Fun, yes. Okay, and the same applies for Shift F8, which is going to be toggle wiper, so it's a bit, uh, well, a wiper. Shift F9, and it'll be an another kind of effect. But if you have to wait for it, in order to see it, did I do it right? Shift F8, sorry. Shift F8. Just takes some time from time to time, or it does not work from time to time. So both of them apply. It is still, well, experimental. That's maybe the proper word. Shift F8, waiting for the effect to happen. No effect. Okay, let's move on. Back. So water effect is done, um, I think we have more or less what's nice to see, of to show. Well, a lot of things I can click now that might screw up the system and, well, of course, screw up my tutorial as well. So I'm gonna show you one thing more, which I know will work. And this sub super W, super Windows W, and this is like a wizard or a f a festivities, a fireworks, something like that. Okay, so this is ooh, enable wizard. That's all I'd like to show and try out um, without breaking my system, <laughs> which I have done enough already. So take care. Be sure you can fix the things you have broken. There's a last thing I would like to stop, and that's the mostly known if you use config, is these wobbly things. And the wobbly things are here. And that's the last one. And if you activate it, you get this thing. And when you maximize, you get this. When you do that, you get this wobbly thing. You move it around. 
and now we've lost it. So control alt arrow to the right, to the left, and here we have it again. And we have this wibbly wobbly thing. Enjoy compass, but be careful and take care.